Last Friday, I was called to understand uh, and told that my horses, someone, some youngsters come and st steal my horses. Um, this was around one o'clock. So I called the police and uh, we went and, 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 and this particular youngster, he took me right to where the horses were. But um, it was really odd, but, uh, but long and short is that we, we recovered the horses. Um, the police are supposed to be investigating the situation. Um, they were supposed to get back to me, but I haven't heard back from them as yet when it was, was happening uh, because the names of the youngsters that, that who stole the horses were identified and uh, they're actually they're doing some investigation. But now, lo and behold, now here this evening, um, I came back here around minutes to seven and uh, I, when I was driving into the stables, I realized that one of my um, sensor lights, uh, uh, sensor lights are on, and uh, so I turned off my headlights and drove in with my, without my lights on, and then put them on swiftly to see a young young fella running across bareback, and he ran out to back his stables, and uh, they were running my horses, uh, right like riding my horses um, in the paddock area without my permission, right, and uh, and they were actually well they, they broke into my um, cottage here and carry away some, um, I went into the, um, and, and fish out some bridles out of my stables, right? Uh, and, and, and put on the horses on Friday night. So they were going back again to break into the same place again. Um, the thing about it is that, uh, there was one of the youngsters cause I was, I was surprised that my dogs weren't barking because, uh, I know that any strangers around here, my dogs is really get on really bad. And, but lo and behold, the one of the dog, um, the dogs didn't get no bad, so it means that somebody that would normally go here with these dogs uh, had to be one of these guys. So I, I just saying that you know I, I asked the public I, well to keep an eye out upon these youngsters that who are tormenting these horses, and uh, and you know they they brutalizing the horses, and uh, I really need to get some resolve because for too long we've been. Um, hearing about these youngsters doing um, stuff to these horses and, and not no, nobody getting the no, 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 um, punishment, no, no penalty for doing this, you know. I mean, this is, this is crazy, you know. This is really crazy, you know. And, and so I just appealing to the public to, 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 be, to be on the watch out for these youngsters who are stiffing these horses and, and, and starving them out and, and tormenting them. Uh, only, only, only the same Friday, the RSPC called me where that, there was a, a, a horse now that was in Grisex. And these guys, uh, talk, the horse looked very bad and bony to torment the horse. And the horse dropped up on the ground. And it was so bad that the vet, when the vet came from the RCC, she called me and asked me if I could bring, bring my horse trailer and put it in a kite to, to dump so they can put it down. But you know, the thing about it is that these, these boys are just destroying these animals and have no regard for these, animal, these animals' lives, you know? So this, this is really, really bad. And again, as I said, you know, the, the, this, this needs to stop, and the and the and the, the the police and the authorities need to um, put a, a real serious stop to this. Because when these guys do these things, and they get all scotch free, you know what I mean? They, the police ain't even looking back at they're looking at. They, they, I guess they're looking at, at the horses ain't got no, they no regards for the life or whatever, whatever it is. But they, you, you don't be hearing about nobody getting a serious penalty for for uh, destroying people animals. Uh, riding the, the, the horses and destroying it like that. Uh, and so uh, I believe in that, you know, tonight going to be a turnaround because this got to stop. And we are, we ask the public to help. When these youngsters realize that the police ain't doing nothing, they can't do what they're doing because the police gain a permission uh, in, a, in a sense though. Because if that you in, if you in wrap your mind in them and, and, and bring them to justice, it just means like the, the law, like just telling them to go and do it again. Cause that's what we see happening here right now, and that's what we have happen here again now tonight. You know these guys that 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 who stole these horses that we all got some information about the names and everything should have been picked up ever since. But I understand they ain't got picked up yet, so yeah. So this is what happening. This whole the law operating. I, I I kind of fed up. I know a lot of horse owners and animal owners are fed up with the way how things are going, and 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 the police need to do something more serious about this here.